Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. I'm going to say, I feel like right now, a lot of people, you may feel like you sort of have like this dark energy that is following you or has been following you for a long time. I will say the entire collective, those of us here, um, especially with our little tribe here on this channel, we know that spiritual warfare has been very, very difficult um, for quite some time now. But I feel like your family um, and even the future generations to come are extremely appreciative of the fact that you have the heart, um, the, the actual just heart to release yourself from some type of attachment, especially from your past here where you've been all tied up. So you're you're going through um the journey to personal healing and happiness all right and i do see some type of connection here that's coming in but there is possibly a lot of um envy around you this envy could be coming from friends family co-workers um ex-lovers from a lot of different people i just feel like there's energy here of you really really separating and detaching yourself all right um this is also with this action card is giving me like yin and yang energy. I definitely feel the presence of a connection here. Um, when I see the woman holding a heart and the man holding a coin here, this is two people. Um, and it, it definitely gives like feminine and masculine energy. The man holding a, a coin, this is someone that is for sure focused on the the earthly material things, not necessarily in a bad way, but the woman holding a heart, I mean, heart, that's like your high priestess kind of energy that's, you know, you being very intuitive, you having wisdom, discernment, intuition, and both of these energies work very well together. They are opposite, but they work well together. I feel that for some of you, though, you have released some type of limited belief or an outdated version of yourself. You walked away from certain people, places, things, and situations that no longer serve you, um, or you are in the process of doing that. And I feel now that with this action card, it's allowing you to get away from what anything that has been sort of troubling you, but it's also allowing an energy to come in towards you that is very masculine, that is going to assist you in you creating like the happy life, the happy family um, the career and everything else that you want. For me, the appreciation card is, yeah, it's you appreciating yourself. It's you honoring yourself. But this is an ancestor card for me. It's like an ancestor spirit guide card for me, specifically as a reader. Um, April 15th through April 17th, or even April 14th through um, April 23rd, that could have been a significant period for you. We are still in the month of April, but it just seems here like you you decided to let something go for sure. Like it's it's some um, something karmic. Like it it's a like I said a mindset. It's a way of thinking. It's a bad habit. If you see like this person, she's like chained. This is you choosing to no longer be chained to anything or anyone even the mask that you've you've been wearing yourself okay because oftentimes we wear a mask in order what well, most people are wearing a mask because of just programming and conditioning you know what you've been taught by um family friends your elders teachers professors you wear a mask but this is a lot of people now coming into their own realizing that what you've been taught to be or how you've been taught to perceive certain things may not actually be aligned with the life that you are choosing to have for yourself. So I really like this energy so far with this attachment card, though. This is um, this is saying like now is the time for you to really jump into action. I mean, the card says action. Um, this this requires you to be very intentional and mindful about what you're doing and choosing to also be. I feel like a lot of people right now, you're going to have to encourage yourself because you're going into a time of your life of having peace, of having family, harmony, and you may be very used to being all tied up. Um, this this all tied up card in envy out here, you may be fairly used to a lot of like chaotic energy, 
that has been around you for quite some time. Like this envy card here, all tied up. It seems like this is sort of that energy where it's been a person, a group, a community or something here that has just sort of had you overwhelmed for a long time. And it's probably just the fact that you're very different from a lot of people. And I feel that now many people in the collective are choosing to embrace who you are and who you who you are becoming. And that is separating you from this more toxic energy. So it's like you're opening your heart to new love, new opportunities, securing connection out here. This could be, you know, a, a lover, it could be a friend, but it just feels like there's a lot of planning for long-term success. But the people who once had you tied up, um, who were able to project, you know, doubts, fears, insecurities, and illusions onto you because now you are moving away from that. These people, they are even more upset. And this appreciation card here and the envy card, you have people that are actually very jealous and envious of the fact that, to be honest, you're chosen. You've been chosen for a greater purpose. Um, and you answer the call, right? Look at that. The world card and the four of wands. So you definitely have something successful coming. There's a completion of a cycle and you going into a new cycle. The four of wands is here. Yeah. And if you look here, I just feel like this is you receiving like a spiritual inheritance. It's you're being gifted something. This could be just the gift of wisdom, the gift of discernment. Um, it could be a spiritual gift. This could be you going back to... Um, Focus on something that you did in the past when you were young. Now, Mercury Retrograde did just end, but there's, of course, the post-shadow phase here, the Three of Cups here. You're definitely receiving, oh, yeah, look at this, Ten of Cups. With the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. The Magician card here and the Page of Cups. So, wow. Four of Wands, Six of Cups, the Three of Cups. This is you reconnecting with, like, your higher self with a community, your soul family, you could be recognizing that you have like a new spirit guide. There's a this angelic presence here. This is specific, but for some of you, there's there's like a a guardian that's in your like in your home. There's a There's someone protecting you, for sure. I mean, you have 10, 10, 10 here. 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, 10 of wands. And you have the magician card here. So, your spiritual team has been fully aware of the burden that you've been carrying. And now, you're going into literally like the life that you've always dreamed of and imagined the four of wands here and this has been coming up a lot lately you're truly receiving like your spiritual inheritance your birthright whatever that is whatever happiness whatever success what whatever it looks like for you this is what you are receiving and it's a clean slate because the page of cups is here with the world card it's like there's a cycle that has completed and you're going into a brand new cycle this could be some kind of creative project that you're working on as well some of you there is the development of some type of new spiritual gift talent and or ability that you have here's a page of wands with the five of cups and the two of pentacles yeah i feel like you are excited about taking action but again like i said before it may feel like all has been lost but it was honestly just preparation you know people say you know of course practice makes perfect it's been a lot of preparation here the ace of swords is here so this is some type of mental clarity or breakthrough about a situation you may have felt like for a long time you were just juggling yeah you're moving forward you have a lot of strength a lot of courage this this wisdom, this tenacity is moving you forward out of this energy of you being all tied up. You know, whatever situation or mindset 
that you have that has you feeling as if you will never receive equal give and take, be mindful of that because that's not true. You're absolutely going to receive everything that you need. Here you have the Queen of Pentacles. Look at all those pentacles. It has taken a while for you to see it. So a lot of you, you've been building something very beautiful for yourself. You've been building more in the spirit realm. And now you're about to see 11, 11 on the clock. You're going to see this actually manifest. This four of wands, your 11, 11 card. You're about to see this manifest here in the physical. And again, with this man holding a coin and woman holding the heart, that's what I was saying. It's like intuitively, you as a spiritual divine being, you're now about to build something here in the physical. It could be, this could be your own feminine and masculine energy. Okay, you being in union with yourself. Some of you, there is a partnership here. And it's really sad, but a lot of people who are going into these partnerships, because... Because some of these partnerships hold so much weight because of the purpose that they have. I mean, through partnership, a lot of people, that's where you learn your life lessons. That's where you can create family. And obviously, you creating a family or you creating a business, doing whatever God has called you to do is what's going to break those generational hexes or curses or patterns of behavior. That's, that, that's for some people, that is your birthright. You creating a happy life, a happy family, that's that's your spiritual inheritance. It's your birthright to receive that. And that's the reason why it has been so difficult for you to have it because you had all of these different forces sort of working against you, including your own friends and family, and in some cases, even your own ancestors, right? Yeah, the Ten of Cups here with the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You definitely have been very patient. Okay, this is something that has possibly been in the making six, seven, eight, ten years. We we now have all four tens out here. And this one shows the Ten of Swords, but it says everything is fine. So with all of the deception, with all of the betrayal, with all of the spiritual attacks and warfare that you've gone through, this is still here to say everything is fine. Whatever is for you is going to land directly in your lap. And then this Tower card is here. I feel like this is some type of divine intervention for sure. Like there's an, an awakening, an epiphany of truth. You're receiving truth. There's a very clear download here that you are receiving or that you have received. But this Ace of Swords, it's a type of clarity. Yeah. <laughs> it has been decided. It has 100% been decided. The High Priestess, the Emperor, Emperor, I'm sorry, Empress, <laughs> the Hierophant. This is someone you're accepting your calling. As the Empress, there's a lot that you are meant to create. There's a lot that you're meant to give birth to. You carry a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. This makes you extremely powerful. The Hierophant is here. You could be going against like societal norms, but you could be sharing your story with the Ace of Swords here, a, a strong card of communication. This has been coming out a lot lately. There, for a lot of people now who are being called into action, it's like these light workers. You have a story to tell. You have there's something that you're supposed to be creating and with the high priestess card everything that you need to know everything that you need to share it is all within you there's these gifts within you that are so precious and they are all priceless and i'm just getting this energy it's like there there's something here that has been attacking you because of what you embody. This Knight of Swords, yeah, look at that, the star. This is, it, it's, for me, the Knight of Swords, it's almost like a spirit. It's something is coming through the air or through thought, the Knight of Swords here. This could be a person, a situation with a person, most likely like from your past, Something could have happened during your teenage years. It's something that has been plaguing 
your mind, I feel for a long time, bringing about this disappointment, but it's still a need for you to know that everything is not lost here. This could be a significant relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a relationship with a friend, a family member, um, whatever, but it's like something here I feel has been attacking your mind about your future, about your wish fulfillment, this journey. What it is, is there's something that has been attacking you so that you will not embrace your own personal power, your own personal freedom, and this authenticity. With this star card, on this card, this person is nude. This is you stripping down completely, being exactly as you are. And by doing that, it allows you to fully accept this new soul contract and, and embrace this new journey. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see? The two of pentacles is clarified, the devil and the hangman here. There's a mindset here that has had you caught up for a very long time, you know? So this could have been something tragic or traumatic that happened, but it also can just be a lot of teaching, you know? The things that our family and friends that they go through or that we learn in our communities or whatever, it plays a huge role in how you show up every day in the world. Some, some, This is just exiting the matrix, like realizing that whatever you've been taught, um, it, it, it's, it's not aligned with who you are. You have the courage card here, strength with the four of cups. A lot of times you may just feel like you this Carla, she has a sweatshirt on that just says over it. I'm really seeing somebody here. Somebody did not have a good experience, specifically in high school. This is very specific, but um, I'm hearing sixth grade through 10th grade between like the ages. And then the number three is here. Three of cups with the 10 of by the, your 30th birthday, somebody out here could be feeling like, I don't know if someone is close to turning 30 or since the age of 30, you've been really like on a spiritual journey trying to discover who you truly are, what you really want, how you want to move forward. This feels almost like a... <laughs> I'm not, not a midlife crisis, but like a quarter life crisis. Someone could be younger than 30 or around 30 years old. Doesn't have to be, but it just feels no matter what age you may be that. Um, I'm going to say you could be between the age of 30 and they card their um, 43 and 44, like 30 and 44, which is for women, especially is around the time where you're going to go through a major, major um like third eye awakening, like if you know anything about chakras, like every seven years you sort of develop each chakra, like the root chakra, your base chakra is like year one through seven, that's your childhood, you know, and then you have your second, third, fourth. So if you're in your like 30s, you probably are moving now into that throat chakra, the fifth chakra, you know, that 30 to 35 year range, like heart chakra. So the things that have really, really, hurt your your heart in a way you're healing from that moving into like that fifth chakra where it's like now you are beginning to speak out and share share your your thoughts share your testimony share your wisdom or challenge the things you know that you've been taught um you may be questioning doctrine and, and other things at this time in your life and, and this might be a little bit scary to you. And I'm sure that it's challenging for people around you who have taught you certain things or, you know, tried to force you into some type of outdated belief systems. And it's interesting because here's a heart chakra in the, the first chakra. And I promise I did not see that before. This is leading you into the door to value, though. So again, wow. OK, so we have 35 and 38 here. So you could be somewhere between, like I said, 30. 35, 38, 44, 43. And you may just be reflecting right now. I feel like this is a time of a lot of reflection. Um, 
on how exactly can you create this life of having greater value, but it's it's requiring you to realize what happened maybe between the age of like, like your childhood. Um, this is doing the shadow work, recognizing that there are some issues with that base chakra, with your, your childhood, with the, the inner child that is a bit wounded, okay? And you may be finding yourself down this energy like, you know what, I'm just over it. You're just over feeling a certain way, but it's like, wow, the moon, oh, wow, look at this, the moon, the sun, and the temperance, okay? This is you balancing out your own energy for sure, okay? And remember before, so some of you, this is specific. It's like because you've sort of been in the dark, in the shadows for a while, and you're going through this awakening, you may now be reconnecting with like a spirit guide or an angel that was assigned to you as a child. This guide has always been around, but because you've been programmed and conditioned maybe not to believe something or to be tapped into something more spiritual that perhaps you had as a child, you've not had this connection to this particular guide, okay? But there's like this hidden path here. You were always meant to sort of follow this hidden path. Some of you are going to find out too that like maybe in your family, the Ten of Pentacles is here. This is absolutely like a guide that has been assigned to you. I'm, I'm, this is, and I said this at the beginning of it because I was really picking up that presence. Some of you have like a new spirit guide, an angel, and a protector, an ancestor even. They're trying to guide you into this new journey of your life. It almost feels like because you've gone through some type of spiritual battle and you've become more awakened and aware, it has allowed you now to connect with this very, very specific spirit guide. They're not connected to like anything karmic. Even if you've had like ancestors that have been um, challenging you, it's like there's this higher... level like being here it's it, whoever or whatever this is is very wise i'm not really getting like an angel it feels like for some of you like a, a spirit guide on ancestor it doesn't really even feel like an ancestor it feels it feels more like a, a spirit guide to me i don't i don't feel like there is a connection too big, not like a, there's no like family or genetic like connection to this being, this energy that I'm picking up on. It, it feels like this is someone that is a very neutral part. I'm hearing there is a neutral party, meaning they don't have, they're not connected to your family, but they're connected to your soul family, not like your biological family or anything like that. This is another being that's stepping in trying to show you a life outside of what you've seen, what you know, and what you've been taught. It's a guy that's, wow, it's coming in to help you to fully break out of the, the chains that have been there, honestly, even from your own family. Because the Ten of Wands is here. It's like you had the strength. And I feel like some of you now, you're tired. You're like really exhausted from trying to break some kind of generational curse or pattern. And so now there's like this angelic being or spirit guide or whatever that's coming in. And they're, they're being assigned to move you into the Ten of Pentacles. Into the like the family, the lifestyle or whatever that you want. Because... Your life thus far, you've been tied to it. You've been imprisoned by your own family or, yeah, this is a, it's specific, y'all. I don't, I don't know. Whatever this, this is like a, an ascended master. It's, a, it's like a spirit guide. 
And you know, your spirit guys, they don't have to be like in your family or anything. It's someone though that feels a, an energetic, is a vibrational match to you, but they can assist you in moving to the next level. So because, so because your frequency has changed, you become a vibrational match for like this ascended master or spirit guide. They are about to really teach you how to create like generational wealth and a, a happy family, a happy home life. Um, they're preparing you, but there's an even greater purpose. They're here to assist you because you have a major role in making some type of breakthrough for a future generation. But you had to go through test trials, tribulations, your karmic family. You're being guided now towards like a new soul family and this spirit guide. Yeah, there's a hidden path. They're, they're, they're guiding you down this hidden path. And you carry this earth angel-like energy. It's something here about you carrying this sun energy, but the moon and the sun is here. So the moon, it's like something dark, some type of, this could even be family secrets or illusions. You're coming out of that. There could be a lot of um, secrets in your family. Even especially about money, marriage, just all, you know, trauma and other things. You may not know all these secrets, but I feel like I'm talking to someone here that carries like this high priestess energy intuitively or even as an empath. You just know that there is something hidden. Something is coming, like you're the person that's chosen to kind of transmute this because you're the son. So this feels very much like I'm talking to somebody who's going through something with their family. You're the sunshine in your in your like in your family. You're the one that cares a lot. You're the chosen one. You you're on this path to transmute something, but there is a spirit guide here that is going to assist you in doing this. And they're totally neutral. And the beautiful thing about that is nobody. This is it's. I hate to say it, it's it's like a secret. It's your secret weapon because this spirit God is not connected to anybody in your family. There's no, no karmic energy around you that is a vibrational match for this spirit God. This spirit God is assigned to you and you only. Nobody else can tap into these downloads from this, this nothing. Because what you are creating, what this spirit God is helping you to create, nobody else has seen it or has access to it. Your family or whomever, your family, ex-lovers, friends, they can't even fathom or believe the type of life that you're about to create. Nine of Wands. Yeah. And you struggled a lot. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands with the Magician. But everything that you've gone through has taught you patience. How to be very steadfast, very wise, even as a wounded warrior, very resilient. This has taught you not only do you have tools and resources, but you've had to learn how to use the tools and resources. And everything is about to work out in your favor. Yeah, because you have this gift. I think I said something like that at the beginning, though. I was because I saw the page of cups. So it is, it's like a new spiritual gift. It's an inheritance. You're inheriting this new contract, but with it comes like a new spirit guide and possibly even a new spiritual gift. It's a more wisdom, more discernment. This is being gifted to you. Somebody feels like you're ready for this now. That, wow. Yeah, the tower. And all of the chaos, the commotion and everything else in your life, it's being torn away. It's, it's the divine intervention that I was picking up before. So now you get to move forward. Wow. And then go on to the king of cups. You're the queen of cups. So you have a spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor, God, whatever, 
They're coming in as part of this divine intervention to get rid of something that could have started in your family, actually. This is the complete clearing away of some type of karmic debt or an entity or dark force or whatever has, has you feel like has been chasing you. Something has been chasing you and it has made it very difficult for you to have a happy family. So there is a blockage here. Some of you literally, you had a curse in your family that has been blocking you from like marriage. And that's being removed now. And now these two energies get to come together. Your spiritual team, they're, they are appreciative of you, but they also know that there's a lot of envy here. And this envy could be coming from like I said, your friends, family, and even there, there's, this is like a hex or something that's being cleared away. And you've been waiting a long time for this. I feel like I'm talking to a very specific group where, you know, if you resonate with maybe having a soul soulmate, twin flame, this is some type of divine connection, though. It's you going into covenant with someone, but everything is being removed for you to go on this new journey. This spirit, it's a spirit, it's a spirit guide. They're leading you. They're showing you how to walk away. And as painful as it may be, they're like, don't worry about it. I know all these knives are in your back, but everything is okay. Just, just focus. Like they're giving you the GPS map of, of where to go, what to do, how to get there and all of that. Judgment. See, look, this is your spiritual team. These are, these are like these. Different people, they're no longer here. They're in the spirit realm. King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And this could be the person because here we have a man holding a coin. Whoever this divine partner is for some of you, this person is awakening. Your spiritual team is communicating with them. They could also be going through an awakening. This person is coming in with an offer. The offer that you've been waiting on. So this this is like, if you notice here, we have the king and queen of pentacles. And we also have the king and queen of cups. This is two people who have both been blocked, hindered in some way. And I feel like it's, it's actually two people who are coming together who have both been blocked. By outdated beliefs, friends, family, and other things like that. You've been waiting. Like, when is this person coming? What's, ta what's, what's taking so long? They've been stuck also. And now that I think about it, wow. The Ten of Pentacles is here with the moon. The Ten of Cups is here with the sun. This is two people who have been blocked by family. And everything is being balanced out. This is a major eclipsing of... Old karmic debts. I feel like this is some kind of past life connection for some of you. Where in a past life, you and someone were supposed to be together. Y'all, there's like birds on my door and they are just chirping like crazy. I mean, like so loud right now. And here's the emperor. What I, was, what I was trying to say is there are secrets in someone's family or illusions. This reminds me of a reading I've done in the past where you and someone both are coming into union, but there were illusions and fear and like a, a karmic debt or blockage. For one of you, it was around finances, generational wealth, security, stability. The other one, it could have been around just having a happy life, happy home, maybe marriage. But see, one of you is the sun, one of you is the moon. So the sun, I don't know which of these is the masculine, but you, you will know. For one of you, you could be connected with someone. Like I said, one of you could have issues with finances. The other one has issues with like a lack of family support or, but but these are karmic debts in a past life. This feels very like past life-ish. And even this, the, this new spirit guy that's coming in, it seems like two people maybe in a 
in a past life, you guys were not, it wasn't, it, it was like your connection was forbidden because you come from two different worlds. You could, you know, so even now, one of you could be very religious, the other one could be spiritual, one of you could be very logical, the other one may be, you know, very intuitive. One, it's a major difference here. And due to like society, societal norms or whatever in the past and a past life especially you and this person were forbidden to come together and now you're coming together and this has been approved by your spiritual team and their spiritual team this happened and the two of you this lifetime have had to learn lessons where now that's the reason why we saw the star card being stripped down naked. Somebody is realizing, okay, this is what life is like without money. Or this is what your life is like without family. Is the is the love the love is still there? So somebody, so let's say in a past life, you could have had like a very loving family. This lifetime, family has been a major issue for you. This was to teach you a lesson. Or you or this person in the past lifetime could have been very wealthy. Well, this lifetime, one of you may struggle financially. It was to teach you a lesson, but now everything is about to be balanced out. The love, the money, generational wealth, success, everything is coming in. But you had to like cross <laughs> the burning sands to learn these lessons. But you also had to not only learn lessons about you learn a lot of lessons about yourself through finding out the truth about your family. And for some of you, you could have like these count, um, divine counterpart connections. A lot of the issues or tension that you and this person may have is very much from a past life. And I'm not talking to people that's been in like a narcissistic empath paradigm, like a very toxic connection. I'm talking about those of you where it feels like it's the perfect connection, but it's just wrong timing. Like this person, they haven't hurt you or anything. It's because the two of you have been trying to work through removing these blockages on your heart because your spirit, your soul literally can remember a heartbreak from a past life. Some of you in this lifetime, you're still trying to figure out the best way to trust the person because Y'all, I don't know. This is like going really, really deep, but it feels like the the guilt, the shame, or the regret from a past life has come over into this lifetime. And now that you are awakening, you're realizing like, I really love that person, but you're upset because they chose their family or your family's like separated you and this person. I don't know. It's giving me very much like a Disney love story. Like two people from two totally different walks of life. Um, it makes me think about like Avatar or um, Aladdin or Pocahontas or The Little Mermaid. You know, you're, you're, it's like your typical fairy tale like story but, but this is somebody's life right now and it's because there's a much greater purpose to this connection and I just saw the, the emperor was out there I um the emperor, I'm not going to say it's, um, well, the empress is already out here, but the emperor card also just represents authority, security, stability, you know, divine masculine energy. The empress is already out here. So for some, it's like divine, the divine feminine energy who has already come out has possibly awakened before the masculine not like before. I, I don't feel like this is two people who are very far behind one another in their awakening. 
It's just that one of you, you operate more in the spirit anyway, which is probably the feminine. And the masculine is, you know, more earth, more earthly. One of you has to maintain, you know, they grounded like energy. But if, it's, if it has felt like there's a major gap, between you and this person, like their wrong timing kind of energy, that gap is being closed because there's this wisdom, this sacred wisdom that you're tapping into this leading you to this person or it's helping you to clear away whatever type of debts have been there that have been blocking this connection. So you have a queen of wands here. Now, I don't know the queen of wands... Nine of Swords and the Hermit. So this could be the energy that has been blocking this connection. There's some kind of third party interference, but this feels more spiritual to me. I mean, obviously, as above, so below, there could be like some kind of third party interference that has been here. Someone could be a Leo Virgo Cusper. Or they definitely have Leo and or Virgo in their chart. But it, this is like a, a, a spirit, I feel, or even like a monitoring energy. This could, you know, of course, be someone here in the 3D that has been watching and monitoring, but it's bigger than that. Like everything that you see here in our physical reality is representing something spiritual. This is like a friend, a family member, or ex lover, somebody in this lifetime. They they're from a past life of like this monitoring energy. Like literally, they have a contract to keep you and this person apart. I feel like this was being cleared out. And this Queen of Wands, this is like a closet witch or something. And I feel like they're stressed out right now. Somebody's birthday could definitely be in the month of September. You see this person is cloaked, but they're researching or, you know, watching or monitoring something. Some of you have a person in your life. They, they stay hidden. They're cloaked. Okay. Could be in your family, a friend or whomever, an ex-lover, but whoever this person is, they've always been in the background with this jealousy and envy trying to block your connection. Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. And I feel like this is the chaos that has been happening. Whoever this person is that has been stirring this pot like this, they've had the feminine in this energy of feeling betrayed. Like you always have to look over your shoulder. And this masculine has been in the energy of constantly running, being in and out. And here's the King of Wands. Look, the King of Wands with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. You're walking by faith and not by sight, and a decision is being made here. You're turning away from things that don't serve you. You're freeing yourself from heartbreak, and you're going to accept this new offer. Wow. So, like, in the Little Mermaid, this Ursula-like energy is being removed. There is there's the person could be like an, like I say, it could be a friend, family member, lover, but somebody has been in the background causing a lot of chaos and conflict to separate you and a person. This masculine has like been running. You know what this feels like? I'm seeing the movie, um, I'm seeing the movie The Notebook. And when her parents didn't want her to marry Noah because Noah was considered, you know, poor, yeah, it's like the notebook. Noah, when he went away to, I, th I guess he went to war or something like that, he wrote her every, like, every day. He wrote her so many letters. And her mom kept the letters. Like, she never gave her those letters. It's, it's something like that. Like, somebody has been in the background trying to keep a person or maybe this happened in a past life but if it happened in a past life it's showing up this lifetime too there's been someone 
who has not been honest with you about something. And if this isn't a relationship, this could even be someone wasn't honest with you about like your family or your parents. This could be like a, especially if you didn't grow up in a household with both of your parents, like one of your parents could have been, you know, always trying to reach out to you and your other parent was, somebody here has been lying, okay? Someone has been lying about someone's love for you. This is another story. I feel like somebody out here, you may not have a connection to your biological family or like one side of your family, either your mom or dad's side. This is because of a lie. Like somebody here has created some type of lie as a way to keep you in the dark about something or so that you wouldn't know something about yourself because that's what was going to bring you into union with yourself and allow your life to really just, you know, bloom, blossom, grow, and expand. Like somebody has been lying to someone saying that like your, your mom or dad, you know, they didn't want to have anything to do with you or it's something crazy like that. But then even in a past life, I feel like the same thing happened. Like somebody is really awakening to like their past, present, and future. Something about your timelines. The old timelines have all just collapsed. Or again, this could just be like a hex where someone has just like hexed or cursed you know, like your family so that, you know, you wouldn't have money or you wouldn't have love or something. And this energy has been in place for so long that you just experienced a, it's an area of your life where there has just been a blockage. And I feel like you are mirroring a person. So like in your life, there has been a blockage of, let's say if you're 10 of pentacles, the money, no matter what you do, it's like, you just cannot seem to get the money that you know you should have. And then you may meet a person, it's like no matter what they do, they just cannot seem to get any love or support from friends, family, or community. It's like that these two people will come together and they find everything that they've been missing in each other. Like it's this lock and key type of energy. Somebody did everything to make sure that, like, or they tried to make sure that you would not connect with a particular person. You, they don't want you to connect because this is like your twin soul. This uh, this person is like your other half. Whatever you don't have, it, literally, whatever you don't have, they have it. The woman holding the heart and the woman holding, I mean, and the man holding the coin. Whatever you don't have, this other person, they bring it. That's the reason why everyone has wanted to block this connection. It's your gateway into your spiritual inheritance. And you don't, I don't want to put like so much emphasis on another person, but it is a lot of, there's a major blessing with this connection. And I just pulled this card out last night, um, this deck, but you see it's the union card. And at the bottom of this deck I have sitting here is the lovers. This is about a 20, like a, and behind the lovers is the Ten of Cups. And the King of Swords is here. And look at this card, the Three of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Wow. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is over. Just this. You have somebody or a group of people in the background who have been working against your connection. This is coming from a past life, though. But even in this lifetime, this is like a group. Could be a coven, witches, or, or whatever. Because, again, someone here is cloaked. And this could be these three people here. Could be a Virgo, a Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and maybe even an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is like three, possibly three people. Three witches that either hex you in a person in a past lifetime but in this lifetime, they've shown up. But see, this King of Swords, some of you may work closely with like Archangel Michael, but there is a spirit guide or an angel 
there is a protector that's coming in and they are getting rid of whatever this dark force is that has been working against you because you're meant to be in this union and have the Ten of Cups with someone from a past life. That's what you're supposed to do. In a past life, someone blocked you from having like a marriage or a union with this person. Maybe you weren't even able to have children. Yeah, like you weren't able to have your, they blocked this. And the Knight of Swords is here now. Something is coming in really fast. And you're going into the Ten of, Cup, the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This card says inheritance, old money, tradition, marrying into money, legacy, roots, windfall, and business empire. Everything, this is your spiritual inheritance. Everything is being unlocked. Those birds are so loud. <laughs> and this Ace of Swords and Justice, this is, this is the truth. I've never really looked at um, this card so closely before. But this Ace of Swords here, for some reason, it's like in this, like in this forest. I feel like there is something for some of you that even in this lifetime, this is some type of hex. Like somebody here, I feel, has cut something, buried something, and it was supposed to make sure that you never, ever made it into any kind of union. Because your union, this type of divine love, is going to unlock friends, family, community, break hexes, curses, and bring in wealth, stability, security, inheritance. Somebody here buried somebody. They, some, I'm telling you, this was like an actual sacrifice of burial. This was no joke. Whoever did this, this was a real hex, a ritual. These were like some witches or something they got together. And they made sure, and I feel like this happened in a past life. And it has happened in this lifetime too. But you're going to have this union. And there's a protector that has stepped in to make sure that you have it. Wow. Even show from the card is still their union. Wow. It says rise above and transformation, deception, and wisdom. Exactly. Divine timing and home. Your person and you are coming home to each other. Someone was in denial about the fact that they have free will. Someone was trying to make a person feel like there was no free will, like they couldn't go towards a union. But this is like some kind of eternal love. Like your time has come, but you and this person are going through like this major spiritual transformation or an upgrade. You're being prepared for the next level. You're rising above like all of this envy, this jealousy, drama, or whatever. Um, but you had to go through this to gain all of this wisdom. And now the mask is coming off. The deception card is here. This is the end of some kind of illusion because the divine timing has come for two people to go home to one another, to come into a union. Somebody tries to make sure that you and another person, that you will reject each other by trying to block your free will. Like somebody wanted you to think that you didn't have any free will. And that goes again back to like the, the conditioning and the programming. Like you don't have the free will to choose. You know, this is like something really old. You and someone shared a, a past life. I feel like in a past life, there was some type of arrangement. And despite the love that you and this person had for one another, they felt like whoever these people are during this time, this this was deemed as forbidden. They didn't allow you to make a choice of who you would be with. You chose this person in spirit and in heart, but in your physical reality and life, you couldn't be with this person. That person is either in your life or they're coming into your life. 